Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undalance Breakfast with Kutaloops. All right, so in the last episode, we got into the basement of the uh, Magister's Barracks, did some exploring. There were some puzzles here and there and whatnot, and apparently a whole bunch of dead white Magisters, which I'm happy to see. Uh, let's stack these oil barrels out of here so that we don't accidentally have them blow the fuck up and shit. Being you. Actually, put it on top of each other. Let's see how far these uh, barrels can stack. That's good. Three barrels so far. And too high, apparently. What the shit? Unbelievable. There. Uh, Sib sorry, Losa, can you make it, um, I guess make it tornado. Get some of this oil puddle out of here. Get more of this oil puddle out of here. There we go. Fantastic. Not nearly as fantastic as it would be. Wait, actually. Okay, now that you have tornado uh, given by your staff or whatever, I'm actually going to give you... Hmm... Not cryogenic stasis. Pressure spike, maybe? Or rallying cry. Animalize. Shadow infusion. Hmm. I guess. But no. Soulmate. Clears fo frozen, stunned, knocked down, petrified, and from target character. This might actually be fairly useful. So sure, why not? There we go. Okay. Another one to stack for Rosie. Fantastic. Holy crap, look at that range. Awesome. Okay, what's behind this painting? It is nothing. Great. What's in the secret document? This document contains the details of one Karen. Seriously, do not leave him unintended. The danger is immense. They didn't call him the mistake for nothing, you know. He can control massive amounts of source if given the opportunity. I started to even think of what happened the last time he was in full control of his powers. Okay. Apparently we need to watch out for someone named Karen the Mistake. What? I can deduct one recipe from this book, but this reads more like a puzzle than a recipe. I will have to experiment with what I can learn from these rhymes. With essence of life on paper, you write... With a piece of Revlon's dwellers, you cite the magic desired, offenders, offenders mistreat, turn flesh into feather, apply chicken feet. Is that a joke? Or are you talking about like the um, chicken claw spell in like, I don't know, scroll form? I can only assume that's what they're uh, referring to. Barbosi, did you need to go up there to... You had to go up there to access the bookcase down there. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Misty Diamond. What the fuck? Take that jar of mind maggots, though. Though I still have no idea what the hell it's actually about. Right. Hey, we'll uh, take you and add you to my wares. There we go. You too, Landscape. Warden's Report. Yeah, we've already read like a million of those. A million of those. Raymond's orders again. Warden's report. You guys need to vary your reading. Seriously, you can't just keep reading um, Raymond's orders and the warden's report. Guys, come on. Good grief. And more intelligence briefs. Jeez. Fucking reading intelligent underwear. Unbelievable. Uh, why did they quick save or auto save rather? This just leads to where we were before, doesn't it? Or at least I'm pretty sure. Um, I don't know if the game is agreeing with me or disagreeing with me when it uh, decides to not crash. Wow. I thought for sure that was a crash. I just saw my uh, mouse cursor turn back to like Windows mode. But no. Decide to actually not crash this time. Wait. I need the traitor? No way. How are you here? What the hell? I'll read that. And add to my wares. Fuck that civilian ledger crap. So many civilian ledgers. Read some fiction books, guys. 
Good grief. Jeez Louise, like, read some Terry Pratchett, why don't you? It's good for the soul. It's really good stuff, it's amazing. It's such a shame that he passed away. Alright, I kinda wish that he was immortal and he just write books for like, you know, all of eternity. But, oh well. You again. It seems we are fated to meet before the Hall of Echoes after all. She's a spirit now? Ask what happened to her plan of going to the Hall of Echoes. Tell her the Hall of Echoes holds only peace when she ever f uh, she will ever find. Abolish the promise of Hall of Echoes. Consume the spirit source. You're a spirit now? She grimaces, looking away from you. No, 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 it's not at all how I imagined it. I, I thought there would be so much more to learn. Now I am seeking things you could never find for me. Rituals to awaken as an undead again. True death only rekindled my desire to be alive. And I've heard there's some kind of covenant I can swear. Oh, no, you don't want to do that. Tell her the un Hall of Echoes holds only peace until uh, she will ever find. Holds the only peace she, she will ever find. I don't seek anything so pedestrian as peace. I seek knowledge. I'm assuming she's going to come back and bite us in the ass, in the least sexual of ways. Raymond, when Brant told me Lord uh, Linder Kem had been shadowing Master Arhu, I figured exhaustion had made him paranoid, but now, Timort has reported in kind. Kem is following Arhu, and his reasons seem self-evident to gain access to Lucian's script, which must not allow to happen. Sorry, which we must not allow to happen. Please advise, emotions among Lucian's faithful are already running high. I cannot risk making accusations without solid proof. <sighs> Hux. Great. Maybe I should absorb um, or consumes, I, consume Ithne's source or spirit before, you know, she goes full out uh, black ring and all that crap. Okay, uh, we got one warden's reports. We'll take one. Alright, we'll take one. No more than one, though. Strike terror into their hearts. Hey, terror grenade, nice. Not that I've made uh, much grenades in this game. Unlike, um, you know, DOS 1, they're a little less uh, useful, I find. Medium masterwork rune power, or rune of power, rather. We'll also take the skull. And portrait of a man, add to the wares. Nice. My memoirs. By whom? I remember when I was a kid, we made water, bell uh, water balloons from intestines. Nice. Obviously, the uh, diary of uh, the late Richard Simmons. Thunder rune, skull, and flawed amulet. Sure. And I guess all we have left to do is to talk to these gits before we uh, move on here. Losa, do you mind clearing out the uh, the oil from this area? Thanks, girl. Sweet. Take that. Uh, nothing there. Jeez, Louise. Can you just tell me when there's like a pile of books that are useful and not just fucking ledgers of various crap and reports? Two of the same right next to each other. What are you guys doing? What are these magisters doing? I'm so glad they're dead. Fucking degenerates going around like putting the same books right next to each other. I mean, I, I get that you have to do that in a bookstore, but it's not a bookstore. It's a library or an archive or something, right? Good grief. I don't know why this upsets me so much. I guess it's because I've always wanted my own private library. And to see people squander the opportunity... Of uh, the majestic opportunity of having a pr um, private uh, library just kind of pisses me off. Crafting uh, Boible. We will read you crafting Boible. Vobisto. Oh, is that you? That massive hunk of crap? Sure. Good grief. You know what? Fuck that. We'll read the flame room, but. Death of the forests. Fuck that too. Uh, painting of a landscape. How heavy are you? Too heavy. Crap all over it. 150. Jeez Louise. Alright, I guess we're back in square one now. And that leads upstairs. 
Got it. Okay, well, let's talk to the dead ghost now. Hey, ghost. The spirit of a magister stares at you with undisguised venom. Good. Your time is over, God Woken. The spirit glares at you in defiance until she is no more. I'm sorry, what was that? I couldn't hear you over the sound of you dying. And exploding into a million pieces. And that's Raymond. Well, let's talk to the unnamed Magister the first. The white Magister tips a vial of powder into a goblet of wine before her. She swallows it back without hesitation. Um, where's your line? I'm assuming his voice is... The wheels are already in motion, Godwoken. My death changes nothing. Dallas will prevail. Tell him to drop, drop the bluster. You're going to inform, inform Lord Cam of what's going on. Dallas will be dead or in chains before long. Man to know where Dallas is now. Smirks. Right where she needs to be, seeing that her grand design is fulfilled. Seeing that no one enters Lucian's crypt, no one may stop her. Not even you. Well, Dallas will be dead. Raymond's spirit smiles. The fanatical gleam in his eyes makes him look almost alive once more. Why does he not have lines? I do not understand. He's not a small character. Come on. This world is rotten, and the rot started with the gods. We'll all be better off without them. You should just stand aside and let it happen. But you won't, will you? Do you even know what you do with these powers that you chase? Say that if you succeed, it'll be your right to seize that mantle of divinity and that power, uh, the power that goes with it. Shrug and say that you haven't decided yet. Admit that you're not sure the whole journey hasn't turned out how you expected it to. Eh, it's my power. It's power-hungry fools like you that have made our actions so necessary. Revelon needs to be saved from your ilk. Farewell, Godwoken. Enjoy the prestige of being amongst the last of your kind. You son of a bitch. I was going to consume you. That asshole. Alright. Oh, I guess that is kind of important. Fine, I'll read it. Raymond, I have received my final report from the agents of Arx. Our enemies are many, but my primary concerns are th with those individuals that know how to access the Crypt of Lucian. The first of these individuals is obvious, the Crypt Keeper, Lord Arhu. Um, I know Arhu is under your surveil. Um, see that you increase your efforts and report any unusual activities to me. He must not interfere with the grand design. The second such individual is Toy Sailor Sanders, um, who himself helped to construct the Crypt. I do not fear the man, only his loose lips. Yet the locals consider him an eccentric, even if he were inclined to say how one might enter the tomb without undertaking the path of blood. I doubt there are many that would listen. Occasional observation should, should suffice. You've done well. I trust in your loyalty. Great. We'll take that just in case. What's this letter? There was report details the many and varied ways in which the dwarves are suspected of plotting a preemptive attack on the Divine Order. Following strict military protocol, the author of this of the report suggests that the Order bribe their time so I buy their time and wait to see what the next uh, dwarven move may be. Secret of the dwarves. Oh, that's the one. Okay, so the journal is what we picked up. All right, journal. Reveal to me your secrets. The handwriting in uh, Raymond's private journal is so full of flourishes, whorls, and loops that it almost seems as if he wants to obfuscate the meaning of the text within. Much of the much of it sounds half crazed, but some passages bear lucid details. Soon the grand design will be upon us. Soon it will be realized. The time of the white magisters has come. The grandest design of all. We have a sacred duty to cleanse the world of the filth of source. Um. Our Lucian guides us today, as always. I would uh, I would have relished accompanying Dallas to the tomb of Lucian to see our final victory come to pass, but I'm needed here, and I will. And I see, and I shall see that my sacred duty is fulfilled. I will not see no one enter the tomb, and I will destroy all papers, scrolls, and minds that would reveal the way. Why are these capitalized? Grand design, sacred duty, cleanse our uh, no one minds. What? That sounds like it could kind of make sense. Grand design, sacred duty, cleanse our no one minds. 
Great. Have I finished more quests? No, I guess I've just updated more stuff. All right, that's fine. The spirit sways of the spirit vanishes. Yeah, you don't want to just stay here by yourself, miss. It's very uncouth behavior. There we go. Okay, I think we're actually done here now. We can finally move on. As far as I'm aware. Eithne, do not join the Covenant. I don't want to have to kill you, okay? You have nice spirit gazungis. Oh, I see. Ah, right. Yeah, this is exactly where I thought we would end up. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Alright, let's go upstairs. So that leads up there. So where does the other one lead then? The Ark's prison. Oh, I see. And that's where the... Um, that's where the thing is. The rat told us to do this thing. To find his uh, mistress. Windigo. Fuck me. Windigo again. Windigo, here we go. Unless... Maybe we should come to that later? Yeah, you know what? Let's leave the prison for now. I'd like a, a bit of a change of scenery, if you guys don't mind. Um, no, we're not going to attack the, uh, the Etten thing. Me out. Don't they know who I am? Apparently, someone who likes to sleep on the streets. Dubious flyer. What is this? To the lucky claimant, if you're holding this letter, you have a already proven yourself a capable student of spycraft. Now it's time to take the next step. Can find me in arcs along the docks behind the toy seller's house. Keep your head low, Victor Voss. Sure, we'll take it. And I guess we're supposed to look for Victor Voss now. That's great. What are these? For the safety of River, report all sorcerers to the nearest magistrate. Fuck that noise. Uh, who are you? Builder. Hey, Builder. Ah, you rat bastard. Let's come upstairs to talk to you. Hey, Builder. Hell of a city, eh? She gets knocked down and we build her up again. Better than before. Right there. That's creation. Plus, you know yourself, there's money to be made. And you're telling me this why? Does it look like I care? Wow. I think that's the closest for Rosie's ever been to dying a second death. The ultimate death. From fucking boredom. Royal protector. Royal protector of what? Nothing to see here. What's going on here? None of your concern. If you've got business here, go to the main entrance around the corner. Otherwise, clear off. Main entrance around the corner. Is this a dwarves? Is this like a dwarf embassy? Clear off. Need to keep the way clear. Chuckle and ask if he's planning a quick getaway. Ain't no getaway happening here. And if there is, I am involved. Get it? Tell the wolf you get it. Clearly someone's moving stuff out of the city and if they're doing it in a hurry. Or and they're doing it in a hurry. Ask who. Ain't no one going nowhere as far as you're concerned. Ain't no one packing up and moving out of the city in a hurry. And that no one ain't no dwarf. Get it? Now go on. Clear off. Okay. Okay. I get it. Now clear off. You're in the way. I could annihilate you. Seriously. Okay, so this is the main entrance, I take it. Or not. Is this the Dwarven Quarter? Is there such a thing? I have no idea. I'm assuming Arx is fucking massive. Though hopefully not as massive as uh, Cyseal was. The Loremaster's house. I guess Starseal wasn't... Uh, Star Seal? I guess Cyseal wasn't like... Well, no, 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 no. Wasn't massive, massive. But, uh, you know. Who are you? You are Lavish Chair. Uh, Lavish Chair? Let me talk to you. Greetings. I am Cranley Hubert. I assume no further introduction is required. Say that you've never heard of him. Oh, come now. Surely you heard of my writing? Or my work with the historical guild of Arcs? No? Ask if he's actually read all of these books or if they're just for show. For show? Of course I've read all of them. What do you take me for? I'll wager you don't know a fraction of what I've gleaned from a lifetime of reading. Let's see. 
Three major houses govern the ancient empire. There's the House of Law, the House of War. Now, what's the third? Ah, uh, shit. Um, the House of War, House of Law. The fourth one I know is the House of Shadows. Um, it's not the House of Pleasure, I know that. The House of Knowledge, the House of Trade, the House of Dreams. I think it's the House of Trade. Um, does anyone have anything on the... Uh, on the old houses? Summoning Ancient Empire. Okay, uh, Law, War, and Dreams. Nice. Dreams. Hmm. Well, that was a rather straightforward one. You'd have to be an utter dolt to have not heard of the House of Dreams. Yep, that's me, utter dolt. Another question, then. In what year was our savior, Lucian the Divine, taken from us? Oh, fuck me. Really? You're gonna quiz me on this shit? Come on, bro. Damn it, man. Crap. Uh, we need a book on the origin of Lucian or whatever, I think. Shit. Uh, do I have one of those? I mean, I guess I could just look it up online. But not quite as fun as going through my giant fucking laundry list of books to find some garbage or whatever. Ugh. Ugh. Do I not have one? I swear, I had like a Lucian's book or something. Damn it. Um, Maybe I can read some of these. Salamanders, The Search for Divinity. Rise of Alexander. I can read these without uh, getting into trouble, right? I should be able to, I think. That's the Rise of Alexander. Can I? Oh, no, I can't reach it. Wait, I can't read it even? Really? Seems a little harsh. Hmm. Maybe the one on Lucian's, uh, Lucian's day. Can I read this? Um, in a tome so short as likely to be unfinished, Hubert recounts the origins of Lucian's day. In short, a day of mourning for Lucian's passing of the year 1233 has become a day for his hope for return, sir. Okay, great. 1233. <sighs> Correct. Perhaps I'm still being too easy on you. Any drunk on the street could have gotten that right. Time for a real challenge. Name the first king of the dwarves. Dang, Nabbit. All right, first king of the dwarves. We need to find a book on the dwarves. Uh, search for divinity warfare, dune masteries, uh, mantises, rather. Chaos Wars, Birth of the Gods. Uh, creation, the lizards. History of Brachus Rex. Oil moles. Damn. This one I might not know. Oh. Do I really not have a book on dwarves? I found something. Hey, we found a loose plank thing. Sure. Oh, Lord Master Safe Key. Yeah, we'll take it. Um The Kraken, the Lizards, the Creation, Lucian's Day, History of Brachus Rex, Birth of the Gods, Alexander, Warfare, Chaos. Ah, shit. I don't know if we have one on the dwarves. Crap all over it. Sh Shiatsu massage. Um, can I buy a book from you? I might be able to buy the book from him. Shambling oaks, nope. Drill moles. Uh, kraken, blood elementals, undead, ancient empire, lizards, dwarves. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to read that book that I just bought from you. <laughs> in a long and occasionally rambling tome, uh, Hubert waxes lyrical about the Dwarven Kingdom and its increasingly large diaspora, whose existence and at times precarious situation be bl um, being blames? Terrible. Be blamed squarely on the Dwarven Royals, all the way back to the royal line of Tenex himself, and the combination of reckless hubris and freck... Uh, feckless, strategic incompetence. Tenax. Hmm. Clearly you have 
have had some modicum of education in your time. One final question. Answer this correctly, and you can consider yourself a scholar on par with yours truly. Fail, and I shall have to show you my door. Okay. The sorcerer king from times of yore, Bracchus Rex, had a twin. What was her name? I know this off heart. Cassandra. Why? Because Fabrosi here fought her, man. He fucking ended her. Cassandra. Well, 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 well. I must confess, your knowledge is impressive. Please, allow me to invite you to join me in my private chambers for further intellectual discourse. Okay, uh, just so you know, I did steal your, um, your, your little, uh, key. I hope that's okay. Excellent. Please, come along. He's not gonna turn out to be a cannibal, is he? Quite simple, once you know the trick. You place a book onto the pile, and a hatch at the back of the fireplace is unlocked. Oh, cool. Go on down. I'll be right behind you. Sure, if you say so. Watch this guy turn out to be a fucking raging cannibal. Beyond my sanctum, true intellect flourishes best in the dark, don't you think? We can take all this shit here. Loremaster's house key. He's not even gonna mind. Fucking guy doesn't give a fucking flying fuck. Yeah, no. I don't care about your stupid ass uh, memoirs. Take all that shit. Nothing, nothing. And I'm assuming more of nothing. We're just gonna. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't, don't lock that on us, on ourselves. Nope, nothing. Sure. Nope. Don't need that. We'll take the sheet of paper though. Don't need the broken bottle. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, we're good. Exciting new di discovery. Interesting. Hey man, so uh, so what's up? So many books in such little time. My sanctum, my intellectual womb, my palace of the mind. Welcome, and make yourself comfortable. Pray tell me. What's the darkest, most delicious nugget of knowledge you've come across in your time? With a mischievous twinkle in his eye, Cranley glances from you to some nearby skill books, rare ones. He raises an eyebrow. Impress him, and we might win a prize, it seems. Say that you discover that the seven gods are charlatans and that all mortals are little more than source vessels to be consumed by them. Whisper that you've journeyed to the Hall of Echoes itself and found it sorely lacking. Tell them that Voidwoken aren't true monsters, but the remnants of an ancient higher race that now seek restoration. Uh, maybe this? Cranley Hubert's eyes bulge with amazement. Um... Say that you hope he has something to offer you in return for what you've shared. Ask if the esteemed Cranley Hubert was sufficiently impressed by what you told him. Oh my, yes. And please, let's not be so formal. Down here, call me Gigi. I will not call you Gigi. He gestures absently for you to select from the skill books as your reward. It seems that the poor fellow is quite taken aback by what you told him. Without another word, he wanders away from you, deep in thought. Okay, sweet. Um, super useless, because I have all of these, but uh, thanks. We'll just take the one that has... You're going to give me two of the Fan of Knives? Yeah, I'll take that. Just sell all that crap. Cranley Hubert barely notices you. He is utterly in Wow, that really um, struck a chord with him, eh? Hope I didn't reveal too much information there. Nice. Totem of the Necromancer and all that crap. Sure. Fantastic. What is this? Lord Deathhawk. Doesn't look like a Lord Deathhawk. Sure, you insist. Um, Uzi, unnamed poem, inspired words. Should I take these? Are they worth it? Are they books or are they like, oh, they're just little things, I see. Oh, wonderful smell of this volume. The musty of What was this about? I don't know if I even gained any experience points from it. I feel like nothing came of this. But sure, why not? Oh wait, we can't get in there, right? Yeah. 
It's, I'm assuming the Dwarven Quarter, which has been uh, cordoned off for whatever reason. What is this? Does this lead to the Underworld? Take me away. Take me home. Oh, no. Oh. So where are we? Lord Master's house? The Black House. What is that? What is the Black House? Is this something to be feared? Malady. Whoa. Hey, Malady. Oh, wait. Is that where the, um, the no doctor is? Being accepted at this time. Patience. I think it is where the doctor is. Aha. That's where Adrian, Adrian Brody lives. I see. Okay. Well. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to deal with Adrian Brody just yet. Let me... Vasistas. Is this where you sell some things? The old lady's house. Sanguinea Tell. Great. Doesn't look like a merchant shop. But maybe we can trade with her. Hmm. Alright, well, I think we'll end the episode off here. Oh, so that's where Toy Seller Sanders is. Okay, fine. Good to know. Uh, I think we'll end the episode off here for now. We'll come back tomorrow and then we'll explore more of Arcs. This is kind of exciting. I am kind of getting into it. It's a good feeling to be um, in a new place exploring and uh, getting new quests and shit. We'll see how, uh, how far it goes, okay? So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.